Now, he's a very funny comedian. He's traveled all over the country. He lived in New York City for nine years performing. Now, he's one of my favorite working stand-up comics that there is today. You might have seen him on The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. You might have also seen him on Extra with Mario Lopez. Give a big, warm round of applause for Dan McCoy! <laughs> Thank you, thank you for the support, I appreciate it. Give it up for Dwayne, too, Dwayne. No, not like that, I meant sexually. Give it up for Dwayne. He could use some. You can find him online at meetmeetymen.hpv backslash penicillin. I grew up in the 80s, generation where you could stab a classmate and still graduate on time. You know what I'm saying? No child left behind. We didn't have that. We, we left a lot of kids behind. Seriously. I was born in 1980. I was born... I'm the same age as AIDS. I am. Not nearly as popular. Kids today have cell phones. It's totally different. We used to have to call the home phone and deal with the parents. Just like, you remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was rough. You had to be polite to them. You know, like, hey, Mrs. Baxter, can Kathy come out and smoke pot? <laughs> Could she come out and reject my sexual advances till 3 a.m.? I don't know. Hang on, Kat. Dan's horny and he has drugs. <laughs> She'll be right there. Thank you, Mrs. Baxter. Kids today, text message. They have no social acuity whatsoever. Seriously. They'll start a conversation with you, then just leave in the middle of the conversation they started regularly. I get, I get a text like, hey, Dan, what's going on? I'll be like, nothing much. You want to hang out? Then you don't hear from them for two weeks. Like, sorry, I bought a dog. <laughs> bullshit. I got this text... About a year and a half ago, middle of the night, like 2 a.m., didn't recognize the number. This actually happened verbatim. I open up the text, it just says no. <laughs> That's comforting. <laughs> Unsolicited disapproval. <laughs> so I wrote back, I don't take no for an answer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You could send a text down to the atmosphere like it's Facebook, you know? Just do it. Go home for fun. Just text a random number. I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm not having an abortion. <laughs> People be like, I think you have the wrong number. Be like, sorry, I'm drunk. <laughs> I don't think you should be drinking. I don't think you should be telling me how to drive my car. Yeah, pull over and get an abortion. What is this, Mexico? <laughs> no, wrong number. You already said $200 for the meth, motherfucker. No, wrong number. This is Dave. No names, moron. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. My dad's retired. He's a writer. Uh, my father retired. He was a doctor. Uh, well, like, the doctor, those doctors that, uh, I should know this, those doctors that exploit young, naive people, um, <laughs> professor, that's it. <laughs> so, professor. My father's a professor. And uh, uh, he, uh, he was in languages. He always spoke to us as though we had a doctorate in linguistics. <laughs> us as in... Um, my sister and I, and I can prove it uh, because when I said us as in my sister and I, it should have been my sister and me. So <laughs> clearly, I live with somebody in the languages department. Uh, I remember we were driving through Hoboken in a station wagon, so that puts you in the time frame, and my mom pointed out the window. My dad grew up in Hoboken. Mom pointed out the window at a nice brownstone. She's like, that's where Frank Sinatra grew up in. My dad was like, kids, your mother's a veritable font of misinformation. <laughs> to which I said, I'm five. 
Yeah. Can you just get drunk and beat us like a well-adjusted family? Hey, I want to go on to Ancestry.com to figure out my lineage. Their commercials are terrible. I don't know who's marketing them. Stupid commercials. Have you seen them? It was like, this whole time I thought I was white. Turns out I'm white. Yep. <laughs> just like everybody else on TV. So... It's a social statement. I don't know. I want an honest Ancestry.com commercial. Something a little more racy, you know? Something like, I went on to Ancestry.com and I was surprised to find out my great-grandfather raped a bearded midget on a hot dog cart so gypsies could steal wieners. <laughs> then he sold the afterbirth at a flea market to clan members. My great-grandmother's the first known person to get pregnant by giving a blowjob. My, my uncle intentionally asphyxiated his bottleneck goiter head in the ass of a three-legged Clydesdale at a Budweiser rodeo. My fucking aunt bit the head off a snake in a Pearl Jam video, then ran a muck stab in quadriplegics at a breathing tube convention. She was found hanging nude from a jungle gym at an orphanage. My grandmother drowned in nursery in a sewage bog on Christmas, and she was married to the original guy who fucked the AIDS monkey. Thanks. And I'm Scottish.